Hello, my fellow artists. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're staying warm too. This weather is getting awfully cold. Well, we're going to stick with our snow unit instead of talking about our famous artists. And we're going to do another perspective snowman. Do you remember that word perspective? Hmm. What did I say that it meant? different way of looking at things, a different focus, a different view, a different way to see things, right? Well, we're going to kind of stick with the same perspective of looking down, all right? So we're only going to make one snowman. It's going to be most of the page and looking down, all right? You're going to need a white sheet of paper something to draw with, and something to color with. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. So I goofed, you're actually going to need blue or dark paper, black, purple. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we're talking about perspective again, and I have a blue sheet of paper, and I have my white colored pencils. You could have a white crayon whatever you have available. And we're gonna talk about perspective. So perspective, like I said, is looking at something differently. So this point of view, this perspective that I am going to teach I you. I am going to start by drawing my circle. I'm gonna make it a little wider. This is the bottom. And I want you to shade it in. of making it round. I'm going to put this down here. It's a little easier for me to, to show you. So we're going to make it round. I'm going to kind of make my pencil strokes that way too so it looks round. And then I'm going to see how we're not seeing full circles since this is perspective and this snowman is going to be looking down at us. Maybe we're playing in the snow and we're laying down. And then I'm not going to make like a full circle or round it. I mean, it's it kind of like an oval. Okay, so there, you can kind of go back and make the outline of those. Make this one a little wider, a little darker, okay. And then we're gonna start decorating. So I'm gonna take my black Sharpie and I'm gonna put some buttons on my snowman. Maybe I'm gonna do two small eyes. I'm going to grab my orange. I'm gonna make a, whoa, a big bendy carrot. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna take my dark blue and I'm going to make his scarf, which you guys do not have to do the same color as me. Make it your own. Make it different. What's your favorite color? You could use that. Oop, I forgot my mouth. So I'm going to just do some teeny tiny circles. And then I think instead of doing a traditional hat, I'm gonna make earmuffs. So to make earmuffs, I'm gonna draw the headband across the top. And then I'm gonna use a lighter blue and I'm going to make 
the muff part next to it. And there you go, a different perspective. It's not the whole part of the snowman. It's half of a snowman. If you want, you can put some snowflakes. Yours might fill up more of your paper. That's okay. That's your unique snowman. Okay. You don't want to see my arm <laughs> in here. But that is my snowman. A different perspective. That is what we are working on in our advanced art. Next week, I'm going to have another snowman project. We're going to have more than one. And again, different perspective, different, different, uh, different sizes, not the whole snowman, parts of the snowman. It'll be a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you had fun. And I will see you next week. Bye, guys.